Hey y'all, how y'all doing? Hello. In this YouTube, we're gonna talk about seven ways that you can increase your in. in uh. Hey y'all. <laughs> <laughs> How y'all doing today? In this video, we're going to talk about seven ways that you can communicate price increases with your clients because I know sometimes that can be a difficult thing. Like, you know, you want to raise your prices, but you don't really know what to how to introduce it to your clients. Maybe you're a little bit afraid that they won't want to pay the prices. But in this video, I'm going to tell you how you can do that successfully without the strife to go along with it. I have a special guest with me today. She is the owner of Your Mobile Cosmo and she has a beautiful mobile salon okay mobile salon she will travel to you to provide services for you and i'm so grateful that she decided to jump into this youtube with me we taking it we doing it spontaneity okay that, that i'm gonna be eating my lunch but i'm gonna be answering these questions but i'm just so grateful for you guys being here so let's dive in we're gonna talk about seven ways that to you know to raise them prices okay okay so one of the things that when I talk to people about raising their prices is the first thing I say is, is inform your client. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Just let them know that you're going to raise your prices. Give them a 30 day notice because apparently Netflix didn't get that memo. <laughs> I'm serious. Like oh, man. they sent they send a text message, your price growing up. And then they just walk away. They like drop the mic. That's how it happens. Like, uh, yeah. And it does. I mean, I don't know if you've gotten it. I got a text message from, it was Netflix. I got it. I don't know, even know who else. But yeah, even Little Millie's. I felt that way with Little Millie's. I don't know if it's Little Millie's Oven Fresh, mm -hmm. um, Little Caesars. You, but you know the one on South Avenue. Okay, okay. You know I, I'm used to the two ninety nine. Yeah. You know, and the price going up. Yeah. That's I it. came in there and that's just what it was. It, no announcement. No, no, no they don't Vaseline. put no commercial. <laughs> Raw. Right, now let me stop. No, literally, <laughs> seriously, raw. That's it. They you to come in and you'd be like, but well, wait a minute. Right. <laughs> the last time I checked, they'd be like, well, the last time we checked. For real. But you know, for us as cosmetologists, I think it can help us feel more comfortable as cosmetologists, and it gives our clients a warning because we, do, I think we do have hold ourselves to a higher level of standards, and so it is important to give your clients that just that just that notice you know that a little bit of time to help them understand that this is what they're you know you're going to be raising your prices mm -hmm. another thing that i think is really really important and a, a reason to a way to raise your prices is people we don't really understand our pricing schedule I, at least i didn't in the beginning i i just charged i came out of a booth rental salon i mean a, a commission-based salon mm -hmm. and so I actually just charged what they charge okay. in the commission based salon because I was working at Alta and I was like, okay, well, Alta charged $65, $70 for, you know, for me to do the silk press. So I'm going to do the silk press. I'm going to charge, you know, $65, $75. But what happens is, is I didn't take under consideration. I was going into a studio. So that meant I had studio rent. I was purchasing my own products. I didn't necessarily, because I was in a studio, I didn't have to buy the salon chair. You know, there's some conveniences to that. But there is a, re you have to take those things under consideration when you're raising your prices. Mm -hmm. And if you understand those things, it ain't nothing to, to raise your prices. You'd be like, uh, my yeah, expenses. I is have to. Right. Literally. It becomes For my a necessity. Livelihood. There you go. It and becomes a necessity. Yes. And that is really, really important. Another thing I think is helpful, I know that you want to inform your clients that your price is going up, but make a formal announcement, mm -hmm. like maybe have a flyer inside of your, your space or, or something like that. So that clients can, sorry, y'all. Uh, yes. um, we eat over here. I got to, because otherwise <laughs> I'm going to be so salivating all over the place. You know what I mean? I feel my mouth getting juicy. So I'm like, ah, <laughs> it's so annoying. Ah. That is so funny. Look, I'm going I'm to smack a piece of this because mm -hmm. I don't even want to be in a scammer with chewing this gum. Oh, girl, I will chew my gum because you know I can't help it. I'm going to offer you another piece. You want a piece? Yes, please. I can you know what? No, I can wait. I'll wait. Oh, no, okay. Because I would be over here straight like camel style. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to do y'all like that. That's so hilarious. Hold, hold back. So once you tell your clients about raising your prices, make that formal announcement. Put it in a, a something paper, maybe send them a text message, let them know when the date's going to change. Mm -hmm. Maybe even send them an updated pricing list if you have, if you have that. Mm 
-hmm. just to make sure that it's in stone. Not only for them though, because I don't know if y'all anything <laughs> like me. I I don't raise my prices and then forgot. Oh my gosh, that's a thing. Mm -hmm. That is a thing. And I come back to it like, damn it, I charge them the old price. So be sure that you make this a formal announcement. Yes. The next thing I want to say is calculate your business and your personal mm. expenses. Because if we're not, if you don't know how much, you don't know how much you're spending on a monthly basis, a weekly basis, you're not going to really, sometimes you can be, you think you price at the tier and, you, and you're barely making it. Because you haven't taken under consideration that all these different expenses there, like as a, as a cosmetologist, unfortunately, we've gotten to this space where medical insurance is not something that we even, mm -hmm. it's not, in, it's just like, we don't, we just work. And then if we get hurt, we have to ER or we don't go. Yeah. We sacrifice our own personal health. And I know plenty of cosmetologists. I did it for a very, very long time. Mm-hmm. Where I sac sacrifice my personal, because I mean I'm a healthy young lady, you know what I mm -hmm. mean. So until Obama came along, I, you know, the Obamacare, I was like, why are you messing with my money? I don't want to <laughs> have to, you know what I mean? Right. Literally, because I'm like, I don't need medical insurance. I'm healthy. I don't go to the doctors. I don't take no damn pills. None of that for me. So it was very difficult for me. But literally, you need to calculate your personal and business expenses because we need bookkeepers, we need accountants, mm -hmm. you got your scheduling systems, you got your, your products, you got your rental space if you have one, and you got your household that you got to take care of. And it all adds up. It adds up. It adds and if you're not calculating what the amount, I mean, literally, you should know how much money you need to make per hour in order to reach those revenue goals that you're trying to reach. That's real. Because, and there's a way to do that. There's exactly a way to do that. I'm telling you guys, and the, just on a segue, the scalp care certification course that I'll be speaking to you guys about, you'll hear more about it. The more we talk about it, the more we get, because I'm going to be doing a webinar on it as well. But that scalp care certification, we talk about how to price yourself in the minimum amount of money that you need to make per hour in order to reach those revenue goals. If you want to make a hundred thousand dollars a year, that's pure profit. That's not taking out any of expenses. You need to know how much money that you need to make. That that hourly wage means that if somebody is taking you t two hours to do, you need to charge them that certain price times two. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you're underpricing yourself. Yeah. And I know people will be like, "Oh my God, really?" Yes. If you need to make eight dollars an hour to sustain your, your to sustain your household, then if somebody take you two hours, their total needs to be one hundred and sixty dollars. Period. No questions asked. And you need to be comfortable with that. You need to be comfortable saying that. Because clients will try to play you. They will try to be like, well, why are you going up? Because I got to go up. I have to go up. Which like leads me. Goes. Period. Just everything evolving. goes up. I have to evolve with the times. I have to Girl, everything goes up. Period. <laughs> yes. So another thing is when you are going up on your prices, have answers to these questions. When your clients are asking you why you go up, let them know. Well, me and my bookkeeper were discussing, it's, it's a, it's a number driven decision. Mm -hmm. It's not because I want to make more money, even though it's going to encourage me to make more money, mm -hmm. but it's because it's, I need in order to sustain this salon in order to in, implement growth and continue to, to get the education that I need to provide you with the better services that needs to go mm -hmm. up. This, the pricing needs I, to go up. I was allowing myself to help you at the same time. Yeah, literally. Like it is, it is very considerate though, because you shouldn't want anybody to stay the same. You mm -hmm. know, even if it is comfortable for you to have been, you know, making a payment mm -hmm. and it's like, okay, well, mentally I'm comfortable and that's where it is. Mm -hmm. I'm comfortable to pay this and now you're making me uncomfortable because I have to make an adjustment. Mm -hmm. But if you value my service mm -hmm. and me as a person and respect that I'm making the best decision for myself, my business, mm -hmm. and you, then you will be just fine mm -hmm. with making the adjustment with me because you want to grow with your clients. Absolutely. And typically, to be honest, when you get to a space where you where you're compensated valuably, you're not going up fifty, sixty dollars. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You're typically raising your prices with the inflation percentage, maybe eight to ten percent mm -hmm. recently because inflation is going super, oh super crazy. I don't even know what to call it. Mm, right. I think it's robbery, but I, I think it's robbery too. <laughs> like, well, you know, we gonna... <laughs> right? Y'all yeah. robbing me. Battle. Period. Oh, you know, move along, but, mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's the truth. Yeah, it's the truth. 
And another thing is when you're, the, well, the next thing I want to point out, when raising your prices, we have to remember, I mean, we touched on it a little bit. You got to remember that raising your prices are a necessity. It is. It's mandatory. Everything goes up. I mean, I gave you the Netflix example, but I mean, I went to Sam's Club and I paid $13 for some eggs. Oh my gosh. Eggs, y'all. Butter. It's like nine, almost $9 for the, for the thing. You know, I'm a Sam's Club. I'm a Sam's Club. Sam's Club, huh? Okay. Ah! <laughs> Cause that's what I'm telling you. I don't like yes, to shop I a lot, but I do. I really do. But seriously, all of these different things are, they, it, it is a necessity in order for you to compensate yourself. Cause otherwise you end up feeling undervalued. You be working like out like a slave, a Hebrew slave uh -huh. girl. Like, um, I was in America. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, right. In 20, right. We is not and, working with um, <laughs> Yeah, let's let's get with the times, people. So. Period. This is not an Abimian coin, okay? For real. Because it's just it, the price difference is is really really important. And if you understand that your business, in order to sustain your business, that you need to raise your prices, it becomes a very easy, a, a lot easier to raise your prices. And and a, another side note that I want to say: when you raise your prices, don't just make it a one time one top thing let your clients know that this is a regular occurrence yeah remind them life happens yeah remind them and say i'm going up i know i haven't gone because sometimes people ain't gone up in two three years that's real you know what i mean that you have <laughs> like literally so when you go up you let them know say this is i, I tell them you've been putting things in place to make sure that your business is sustainable because you really want growth. You want to get new chairs. You want to get new combs, new blow dryers, whatever. You want to invest in the business and you want to make sure that you're creating a space for them so that you're, you're going to continue to have a price increase regularly so that the next time they won't be surprised. Yeah. Ain't no surprise no more. I told you last time that I was going to go up again because that it, that's the way it works. Right. That's the way everything works. Yeah. The last thing I want to say is that when you understand your your expenses and you understand your personal goals and you your because we we didn't even talk about the rainy day fund mm. because you need to have that as well some sort of money put away for retirement because who it you know we can't even retire as cosmetologists. Excuse me, mm -hmm. I gotta take. Go this. ahead. I, I'm listening with my peripheral ear. Uh-huh. <laughs> if that's okay. Record. Yes, I could definitely talk to you. I multitask. All right. So, the last thing I want to talk about is pricing yourself for profitability. Not pricing yourself just because of how much money you make, want to make. Pricing yourself to be profitable, which means that you have money left over to do other things than just work. Yeah. And just pay your bills. Like, literally, we are entrepreneurs. Cosmetologists, when you own your own business, you're an entrepreneur. Last time I checked, entrepreneurs be making bank. Yeah. But apparently, for cosmetologists, we just get to this point where we feel like we shouldn't charge that much. But you have to. You got all of the expenses that the same that other entrepreneurs got. And you on your feet all day. Like you get to make what you want to make. So do that. You got to still pay your own taxes. There ain't nobody taking that out for you. You got to have a bookkeeper, accountant. I mean, we mentioned these things. So if you're not working for a profit, you just working and stay in business. And that is no way to be. And you, it's just, it's very, very, it's a sad place to be. Yep. So, mm -hmm. and how you price yourself to profit is that you, what did I say earlier? You got to understand your expenses. You got to understand where you want to go in your business, what the things that you need, the necessities in order to make you a profitable business. So hopefully that information was helpful. If you'd like to learn more about how you can price yourself for profit, how you can incorporate services that are more high ticket service where you can build your clientele and gain clients that actually value the services that you provide for them, 
please reach out to me. It's a scalp care certification. Check out theheadspotstudio.com. There's all kind of information on there, class details, how long the coursework is, when we'll get started, all those different things. And I would love for you to fill out an application because you got to apply in order to qualify. <laughs> yes. You got to apply in order to qualify. Okay, yes. then. I feel like I have some bars right there. <laughs> Yeah. Well, the, <laughs> but the reason that you need to apply is because we want to ensure that we're a good fit for each other. You already see me as an instructor. You know that I'm going to be fun and upbeat. This is a hybrid co coursework. So we're going to be doing, you'll have some videos to watch. We'll be doing these things together as well. All the different things to understand scalp care and incorporate those services into your salon menu so that you can be begin generating more revenue from the moment you finish this course. So thank you so much. I would like to take another moment to say thank you to your mobile Cosmo here. Be sure to reach out. You can type it in Google, find her. She's on Instagram. She's on Facebook. And I will put her con I will put her information at the bottom of this video so that you guys can reach out to her if you need some mobile services. All right. And if again, if you need an instructor, you know who to call. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye-bye. Oh, yeah. Subscribe to the channel. Ha, ha, ha.